Hi there. This is Voices of Trainers, little audios where real trainers talk about their well-being, the struggles they face, and their personal hacks. So what advice would you give to other trainers as far as how to protect their mental and emotional health? My quick tip would be that at least for a slice or a nugget of your time, only be alone and keep distance. Even if it's five minutes, it's also okay. And the rest of your time you can dedicate for the work. It's always okay to say no. It's always okay to take a step back. Nobody will uh, tell something bad about you if you will say, oh, I'm not available this time. Don't overthink things. Give yourself some space before and after a course. That means you're well prepared, at least for the first day. It means you can give your full attention to the participants and can be open to them and their needs. And you have some space at the end to reflect about what the course means for you, for them, what you need to change. Gives you some closure. I find it extremely important to constantly question when we invest so much energy into an activity, a long project, especially if it's a long project, a long-term project, to really always wonder who you are doing it for. And I think if it's if there's a moment or a sensation that at some point you're putting more from yourself into that or you're driven emotionally uh, by that, it means probably that a readjustment is needed. Uh, something where you could take some space, uh, breathe a little bit and give it back to whatever partners, uh, the communities you're working with, participants, but that it's, it should not be you driving alone the whole thing. I think if you have that sensation, maybe uh, it, can, it can be a signal that something can change and, and help, basically. This audio is brought to you by the Holistic Trainer Project, funded by the Erasmus Plus program and implemented by the following partners. The International Youth Work Trainers Guild, Kubra, Magnet, and Team Maish.